a week ago. Because Damn. Was, Halloween's around the corner. Yeah, you fucking idiot. You fucking dumb dumb. Did you I'm not know that Halloween was happening this year? I don't have any stories. Yeah, I'm gonna be reading. So, right. uh. So what you got, I got a couple stories lined up. Um, not really. <laughs> hey guys, okay, welcome to Captain. Eight, that means yeah. Welcome, welcome, yeah, welcome that, to the welcome to Captain's log. He's gonna see this minutes. later, the recording later. He's gonna think it's the fucking greatest thing. He's gonna. Man, I'll I'll start it. So, okay, uh, you on. added me as a friend. I'll add you to the uh, to the group. Oh, I did. You're ruining give it a, give the it a, pot. I got another yeah. one. Uh, while cats looking for the uh, looking for the pen and paper. Um, many classic horror icons such as Geiger xenomorphs, Silent Hills, Pyramid Head, and other disturbing creatures share common characteristics: pale skin, dark, sunken eyes, elongated faces, sharp teeth, and the like. These images inspire horror and revulsion in many, and with good reason. The characteristics shared by these faces are imprinted in the human mind. Many things frighten humans instinctively. The fear is natural and does not need to be reinforced in order to terrify. The fears are species-wide, stemming from dark times in the past when lightning could mean the burning of your tree home, thunder could be the approaching gallops of a stampede, predators could hide in darkness, and heights could make poor footing lethal. So the question you have to ask yourself is that what happened deep in the hidden eras before history began that could affect the entire human race so evenly as to give the entire species a deep, instinctual, and lasting fear of pale beings with dark, sunken eyes, razor-sharp teeth, and elongated faces. Mm. Just be careful out there. Now, Fletcher, to completely derail everything, um, as soon as you started talking, I heard a fucking knock in my room. Like I heard three <laughs> knocks, and I, I I I grabbed my fucking knife. I whipped that shit out, and I started looking around. I had like a panic moment, like not like a panic attack, but just like a oh shit, I gotta get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm completely not okay right now. <laughs> oh, I knew man. this wouldn't be good for me, and uh, my whole body is warm right now. Uh, Hayden, do you feel any I'm compressions so in your chest? Do you feel your chest tightening? Oh, my chest was tight before this. That's the uh, high blood pressure for you. <laughs> well, if it gets any tighter, please step back. <laughs> please drink some water. You know, the hypertension ain't no joke. Yeah, no. Uh, the hypertension came before the scary stories. I, I told this one to Wayne and uh, and Raylan and all of them. You remember that, Hayden? Why? <laughs> When, well, they were like, let's sit around and tell scary stories, and then they just explained Oh, yeah, to, like, and a then movie. fucking... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I remember that. I was there. Yeah. Well, okay, this is the one. It's called Portraits. Uh, there was a hunter in the woods who, after a long day hunting, was in the middle of an immense forest. It was getting dark, and having lost his bearings, he decided to head in one direction until he was clear of the increasingly oppressive foliage. After what seemed like hours, he came across a cabin in a small clearing. Realizing how dark it had grown, he decided to see if he could stay there for the night. He approached and found the door ajar. Nobody was inside. The hunter flopped down on the single bed, deciding to, keep, deciding to explain himself to the owner in the morning. As he looked around, he was surprised to see the walls adorned with many portraits, all painted in incredible detail. Without exception, they appeared to be staring down at him, their features twisted into looks of hatred. Staring back, he grew increasingly uncomfortable, making a concerted effort to ignore the, the many, many, the, 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 the many, the many hated faces. Uh, he turned to face the wall, and exhausted, he fell into a restless sleep. Face down in an unfamiliar bed, he turned, blinking in unexpected sunlight. Looking up, he discovered that the cabin had no portraits, only windows. Oh, so they were looking at him. They were looking at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They nice, made all the, the scary faces. Yeah, so could someone else uh, pick up something like a story or just something this to talk is about? This the story of a day where all there was all this blood. A man was walking around and blood started coming out of him everywhere. There was so much blood that it filled up an elevator. He went to the store and there was just blood all over the place. People were slipping in it and they were all grossed out. He tried to go swimming and all the sharks went nuts and bitten everybody. He got chased by all the vampires ever. A lot of blood. One time, the blood got a kid and a dog. <laughs> I heard Hayden laugh from the other room. 
at the end of the day, everyone decided they would send him to space so that he would stop getting blood everywhere. The scariest part is that the man was you, or he was a lady if you were a lady, and you forgot that this happened. Uh, so, last night, a friend rushed me out of the house to catch the opening act at a local bar's music night. After a few drinks, I realized my phone wasn't in my pocket. I checked the table we were sitting at, the bar, the bathrooms, and after no luck, I used my friend's phone to call mine. After two rings, someone answered, gave out a low raspy giggle, and hung up. They didn't answer again. I eventually gave it up as a lost cause and headed home. I found my phone laying on my nightstand right where I left it. He fucking forgot his phone, but someone Isn't answered Isn't there was a raspy it. voice? Where he lived. Well, hang yeah, on. man. Ghost yeah. Adventures, <laughs> Ghost Town. It seems like they should be there. Like, Mommy <laughs> told me never to go in the basement. But I wanted to see what was making that noise. So Jason it kind of sounded like a puppy. And I wanted to see the puppy. So I opened the basement door and tiptoed down a bit. I didn't see a puppy. And then Mommy yanked me out of the basement and yelled at me. Mommy had never yelled at me before, and it made me sad, and I cried. Then Mommy told me, never go to the basement again, and she gave me a cookie. That made me feel better, so I didn't ask her why the boy was in the basement, was making noises like a puppy, or why he had no hands or feet. Oh, Yo, God damn it. Hold on. <laughs> oh, shit. So you're with your honey, and you're making out when the phone rings. <laughs> you answer it, and the phone is... What are you doing with my daughter? You tell your girl and she say, my dad is dead. Then who was phone? <laughs> who was phone? <laughs> who was phone? <laughs> who was phone? <laughs> Yo, y'all are in like a dark house with a living- Oh my god, hang on, I gotta turn on the light. Hey, get the first one. Real quick. That first one got me, Jason. Fuck you. I don't want to be <laughs> that was, no, um, creepy. Was, was that the store, fucking... Jason, or do you have more? I, gotta, I, I gotta begin work. tucking him into bed, and he tells me, Daddy, check for monsters under my bed. Oh, I, love this. I look underneath for his amusement and see him, another him, under the bed, staring back at me, quivering and whispering, Daddy? There's somebody on my bed. Then the covers start to move. There's an alternate ending to that, but that's what I feel I like y'all gonna do an improv. Like, I have to do this with you. I think you see like a story story. We saw like an improv on it. All right. So, hey, thanks everyone for uh, coming to the podcast. Um, this is not the captain speaking, but uh, thanks. And if hey or Rudy, uh, fucking in, end it there so that we can continue on with what we were doing. Man, I want to start a podcast and leave in the middle of it. Exactly. <laughs> he hits record and just fucking walks away. <laughs>